deep where it feels like a living memorial this morning because there's so many old friends, old colleagues, um, warm faces, uh, it's really overwhelming. I'd like to thank the artists that I've invited here to the Burley today. Um, they're here, our star line up. Um, I'll be better when they're speaking than speaking because I wrote a kind of essay uh, to present today and decided that it was an essay and it wasn't appropriate for today because I wanted it to be a different kind of symposium here. I wanted it to be from the ground up, from the um, painters and studio, um, well not studio holders necessarily here today, but I wanted it from a studio perspective. I wanted to know about what the painters go through um, and their journey in their practice rather than it coming from an institution who usually um, is kind of directed by a research question and it's open to um, application. That's not what I wanted to do at all today. Um, I wanted to start with a poem, if that's okay. It's called Box. On there, thankfully. <laughs> um, box. I'm sorry, I'll get back in my box. I quite like it here, squeezed in so tightly. Walls pressed against my cheeks. It doesn't feel too bad if I don't focus on my breathlessness. <laughs> it's almost enjoyable. I'm sorry, I'll get back in my box when I have to. But lately, as I've grown, it feels as though the need for my box has grown too. So I'll squeeze and stretch and I'll put my leg over my head just to fit. My box is getting too small now, but I seem to spend every day here. I wonder when I'll no longer need it. And I wonder when they'll stop telling me to get back in my box. <laughs> and that's a poem by my 20-year-old daughter. And... Um, I think it says an awful lot about how um, sometimes being an artist can feel a bit exclusive um, and today I wanted this to be inclusive so even though I've invited female painters I did that intentionally but not to exclude anybody um, and going forward obviously my inclusion will grow. Um, the name of the symposium, Bananas Are Not The Only Paint, had two connotations, obviously, by, from Jeanette Winterson's Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit, and also Turf's Banana, that I did um, a mentoring course with probably three years ago now. And I think Turf's Banana are amazing, set up by Marcus Harvey, who first set up the magazine with friends. Um, you've probably all heard of Terps Banana and seen that it's probably one of the only publications that is purely for painters now. I think it was 2012 that then set up the Terps Art School. Um, but if, I know there's some of you here that have done the Terps courses that are focused in London, but also now the correspondence course allows access to that facility. It's quite a pricely um, service, but worth it, absolutely worth it. But after one year, I couldn't afford to do a second year. So that was another reason for thinking about how we could bring about a gallery that was from the ground up, rather than it being from either an institution down or from a mentoring um, organization. So I'm certainly not trying to um, say that Turps Banana is not worth it, it absolutely is. But I think that there's also something else that we can do as painters in the North. Um, so, are there any questions? I'll introduce my artist now because um, I think it's amazing um, that they are here. Try and remember in alphabetical order. <laughs> Sterling and Sarah Feynman. Yes. 
I want to say before we commence with the artist talks that I'm really grateful for um, the warm welcome that the Burley has given me since I've arrived here. I've just been here for two years um, and it's been overwhelming. I just asked and everybody has helped me, which is a beautiful <coughs> experience and I know that sounds kind of dramatic but um, it makes a difference and I'm learning fast that it takes a village to support an artist. I think for quite a long time being an introvert I kept my practice to myself or didn't want to expose it and I don't want to expose it anytime really but we have to do that to move on and to progress and it's our own journey, it's incredibly personal but the more you ask I'm now overwhelmed especially as you get older how much um, help that you can receive from people who want to be part of that journey. So thank you in particular to Rob Mullinder Ross um, and Tracy Hill who had other things, more important things on when they were encouraging me to go for it just six weeks ago when the slot became available. Thank you. Thank you to Florian, he's been an amazing support for me, um, really overwhelmed by that. Um, Heather Mullinder Ross, thank you. I was going to use proper titles today, Doctor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the artists, obviously, and all of the friends um, who've been in touch and said, I can't be there today, um, but I want to be part of this journey in the round. That's been overwhelming. People, I didn't know whether to drop names or not, but I will. <laughs> Mandy Payne, Joe, um, is it Joe Warpin? Jen. Jen Warpin, sorry. Um, I've emailed Levain and she, she seems positive about it. Um, Lisa Den Denier, yes. uh, sorry, I had all this written down and I thought I can do this without reading from a script. Um, Ingrid Christie, who is a local artist, wants to be involved. So people have contacted me and said even though they can't be here, they'd really like to know what goes forward. Which brings me very neatly to um, absolutely again overwhelmed that uh, a proposal for an exhibition here at the Burley in Preston. I asked the exhibition committee if we could maybe have um, a painting exhibition here going forward from the symposium which has been agreed. Um, we did talk about September but I forgot I had a residency in September <laughs> but maybe we can fit it in around that but that is just so amazing for the area to celebrate our amazing artists here um, and I think it's a quote from a film that wouldn't be familiar to me but they say if you build it they will come I like to refer to it as nature but I think that's what's happened and so thank you to everybody who has supported me um, May Rendell thank you and thank you to Victoria Lucas just chats in the pub before Christmas beautiful introductions <laughs> um, and that's what it's about, it's just about asking for that support and um, yeah, I just forgot Pip Dickens in Lancaster. So I've tried to keep the breadth as wide as we can in the north. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I just wanted to say a little bit about me, I'm a painter, an artist. <laughs> and, um, 27 years I've been involved in art education. So it's in me to carry on educating, even if that's not in a formal setting of an institution. Um, I'm currently working in a soup kitchen and being supported by a charity to set up an art group. And that is um, a, a really rewarding, gorgeous situation right now, given political and economic situation. So. I think that feels quite right for me, having been in higher education, teaching for 11 years. Um, yeah. So let's let the party begin, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>